Hi there. Welcome. So you're about to continue your studies of mathematics. Awesome. So let's see, where to begin? Let's start with an easy question, one we probably all have the answer to. What is a number? It's like a thing you, you use to, you know, count. As it turns out, finding the answer to this question may be a little bit more challenging than you thought. We can start to ask ourselves bigger questions about the nature of numbers. Like how come numbers can be called something different depending on the language you're speaking? If we were never taught numbers, would we know they exist? And would we be able to count? What if we interchanged the words one, two, and three with apple, orange, banana? How would that affect our understanding of math? How would we tell someone how many bananas we want to buy? Are numbers created by people, or are they out there in the universe for us to discover? Who came up with the word one? And what is the biggest number that we have a name for? What happens if we add one to that number? Who comes up with the name for that number? Shkubilibab? What would it sound like in French? Le shkubilibab. Le shkubilibab. Before fractions were a thing, everybody just eat a whole pizza. Age and time are represented by numbers. Would time still exist if we didn't have numbers? My four-year-old daughter, when asked about numbers, had this to say. A number is a thing you can count. Like if you have some things, you can count them. One, two, three. There's also negative numbers and zero. Now she is the daughter of two math teachers, but even so, it seems that even at a young age, we already have some sort of concept of what numbers are and how they're used. As you'll start to see, there are an infinite number of questions we can ask about numbers. And the more we ask, the more we start to see that one of the tools we use countless times every single day of our lives is actually pretty tough to define. Now, having said all this, to put your mind to rest, put simply, a number is just a value expressed by a word, symbol, or figure representing a particular quantity for use in counting, calculations, or for showing order in a series. <sighs> yeah, but who comes up with the symbols? And what happens if we change the symbol